Hey, lovely people from YouTube. Today we are talking about mismatch sex drives. We're talking about a situation where your partner doesn't like sex or doesn't want to have sex as much as you want it. It's a difficult situation and we're talking about it right now. Don't miss it. Okay, we're talking about a situation that happens to most couples. I don't think I've ever met anybody that has not been through this situation where your partner doesn't want to have as much sex as you have. And then you start making yourself questions about maybe she or he is with someone else. Maybe she doesn't like me so much or he doesn't like me as much. We're not in love anymore. You start thinking about all these things and, and everything goes into chaos. And, and, and really it's a, it's a situation that can lead to separations, divorce, and many other things which can be avoided. Actually, it can be avoided. If you do it the right way uh, and you understand uh, the situation, uh, you, can, you can solve it. And, and there's uh, ways to solve it. And that's what we're talking about it right now. It's a common belief that, that men uh, are supposed to be more aggressive in bed. They, they're supposed to be the one that initiate everything. They, they, they are the ones that ignite sex. And many women believe that they should be just sitting there and waiting for him to do it. If not, nothing happens. Well, it's not the case today. In, in our society, women are completely liberated and they want to have sex and they want to also take action into the sex uh, scene. So this situation has changed completely. Now it's a time where both of uh, the partners have to actually take action and they both have to take uh, get involved into, into having sex and, 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 and seeing how they can make the sexual uh, relationship work. So uh, there's many things that can lead to a, a mismatch uh, sex drive. And, and, and one of them is, is the difference between men and women. And this is the basic one. And, and even though we are equal, of course, we're equal and men and women have the same rights and everything. We are diff completely different in terms of our um, physical needs and our physiology. All right. Uh, also, emotionally, women are completely different in terms of men, and, and that affects our sex life. And if we don't understand this, we're always going to be in trouble. Uh, you see, men are completely uh, lineal. We, are, we don't have a cycle. Women are cycle. Women have a cycle, uh, and it goes around. They have uh, their, their uh, the period every month. And they have, uh, you know, when that happens, the hormones really kick in. And, and it's normal when you, when you see your wife that maybe, or your girlfriend, she's not in the mood or she's not so happy or she's a bit uh, grumpy, you know, the hormones are there. And, and, and that's why she feels like that. And, and she may be about to have the period or, or, or whatever. And, and, and that's something that we need to understand. And, and man, we are ready all the time. We want to have sex all the time or we can, we can be ready all the time. And it takes only five minutes. Women need a lot more time. They need more time. They have cycles. And we have to respect those cycles. And that's when all these problems with the sex drive come in. Uh, at the beginning of the relationships, normally uh, both men and women are, are really into it. We, we, we have sex all the time. We, when you meet someone, it's like we want to touch and kiss and have sex all the time. But that at, at one point, it will go down and it will decrease. And, and that happens to every single couple. If you have friends that tell you we have sex every day, it's, it's a lie. It's not true. Unless you have some type of disorder uh, or you're a nymphomaniac or something like that. But normal people, it, it's, it's, it's like if you eat the same food every day, we come to a point where you want, you want to have the same food all the time. It happens the same thing with couples. And that's why we have to actually find ways. If you have sex the same way, the same place, the same time, everything the same with the same person, of course, all the time, what happens is you don't want to have it so much. And it's a, it's a human thing. So we don't have to feel bad about it. We don't have to, we just have to deal with it and find ways to avoid that happening. Okay, because there's ways you can do it. So what are some factors that can uh, come into this uh, problem? Uh, for one of them is the, the age gap. Uh, men have their sexual peak at the in the 20s and, and women have it in the 30s. Actually, women, uh, they have better sex or they, they, are, they, they have more sex drive even when they're a bit older than men. Men in the 20s, we are really, you know, horny all the time. We want to have it. And when, it, when, when we grow older, in the 40s, 50s, we, we start to go down faster than women. 
uh, that's that's something that we have to deal with it and and uh, things that we can do to avoid that sleep well uh, do exercise have a good health uh, physical health and that will help us uh, be better in sex and have more sex drive uh, if you eat healthy and so on another thing is if, if you have an actual age gap in in the, in the couple for example if, if normally and this is what happens many times for whatever reason the man is older than the woman uh, and you know, and the woman comes to the thirties, and the man is fifty, and th there's a mismatch most of the time there, <laughs> and and that you have to deal with that. Okay, uh, one of the most important things to deal with these things is love. Okay, I'll talk about it in a bit. Other things that can affect this uh, your mismatch uh, sex drive is uh, psychological uh, problems, and what I mean is uh, problems is things that can affect your psychology in terms like stress, anxiety. Maybe you're running through a bad period. Something like, you know, maybe you have a business that's not doing so well. Maybe your work, they just, you know, you just lost your your, your, your job and, and you don't know what to do. And that affects a lot in your to your sex drive. If, if, your, if your mind is not there and your mind is somewhere else, it's very easy. So if you're a couple, it can happen. And, and, and at the end, what you have to find is why this is happening. And, and once you understand why the mismatch uh, is happening, then it's what... Um, when you can actually solve the situation. So that takes me to, to one of the keys for solving the situation, and that's communication. Um, it's very important to communicate with your partner and see where the problem is. As I said, it can be physiological. Some, some men or some women might need more sex than the other. That's a problem, and uh, that's something that you have to talk about and say, hey, I, I feel like I need more sex, and if you don't feel like that, how can we solve this situation? Uh, how can we make it so that we are both satisfied? One thing that, that and I talk about it in one of my videos, I'll put a link up there, uh, it's about masturbation. Uh, people think that, that, that once they're in a couple, they should not masturbate, and that's a, that's a mistake in my opinion, because your sex is, is yours, it's individual, and, uh, and masturbation is not bad. Uh, it's, it's something that's part of you, it's something that it's, one, it's actually a right, and um, and you do it from a very young age, and of course you you masturbate a lot less when you grow older, and when you have a couple, of course, a lot less. And uh, but it, it can actually help to solve the situation. And and many people, when I talk to people, they say, "Hey, well, you're crazy. How can you say that? How can you? I, I cannot masturbate if I'm in a, with my couple. Why not? What's the problem? Actually, you can actually masturbate together, and whatever. I mean, you can do many things. So so that's something that can help a lot when you have different sexual drives and you have a mismatch there. Okay. So again, when you talk about it, and so when you talk about it, and when you talk with your partner about this, you, first of all, you have to go with respect, and you have to understand again the cycles that I was talking about before. Uh, I, I'm assuming here that that you're in love with this person, and that you you actually want to have a sexual relationship with this person, and not only sexual, but also more than that. And that's if, if that's your situation, you can solve this problem very easily just by talking. When you go into a conversation like, hey, I'm not satisfied, you have to go with respect. And you have to respect that the other person has different sexual drive. And, and, and that's the key to solving the problem. If you, if you, if, if you go with respect and, and I say, hey, I'll, I, I need more sex, and the other person respects that and, and in the opposite way, she or he respects that, that the other person wants to have more sex or less sex, that's the key to solving the situation. You need to talk about your desires. You need to talk about your fantasies. You need to talk about what you want and what you actually expect from a sexual relationship. Because, because sometimes uh, we, don't, we are very scared of talking about that. And, and especially women are, are very... When they have this problem where they don't want to have sex, they feel bad about it and they don't want to talk about it. And it's sometimes difficult to, to actually talk about it. But you need to open yourself and, and say, hey, I'm going to talk about this. And that, that's happened to me my, to myself in my real life, in my personal life. And, and I, you know, it, sometimes it's difficult to talk about these things and, and talk about your, your, your fantasies or your desires and so on. But it's a key to, to solving the problem. And sometimes you'll be surprised because if you go with respect to this uh, talk, things can be solved very easily. Uh, Things that I, I recommend to do when, when you, your sex drive starts to, to, to go down and decrease, you need to a little bit like work on it. And, and I, I put like this on work because it's not work, but, but you cannot just, if you're laying on the bed and nothing happens, 
you, you need to find a way that things happen, okay? Because we're lazy sometimes. We are sitting in bed or we're laying in bed and we're like, okay, oof, have sex now? That's, uh, I don't feel like having sex at this time. And that happens every day. And, and it, it, it continues for one week, second week, third week, fourth week. And that's it's, it's a big problem. So you need to find a way to do it. You, you need to start doing it in different places. What I like to do with my partner and say, hey, this week is your turn to find a, to, to do something different, okay? And, and each week, everyone has to do something different. And that doesn't have to be something really, really crazy. But, you know, maybe have sex in a different place. Have sex in the time that you usually don't have sex. Shower, kitchen, uh, on the sofa, I don't know, uh, anywhere you want. You can, you can uh, fantasies that you have, you can play roles. Role playing is great for, for this. So there's a lot of fantasies. There's a video on fantasies. You can check it out. Uh, w- w- things that you can do to, to maintain your, your, your sexual relationship alive. You have to do this. You have to work on it. And, and, and it's, it's, I have to say it, you have to work on it. You, it will not happen automatically because your sex drive will decrease with time. It's, there, that's no way. Don't fight against that. That's okay. That's no problem with that. Just find a way. Don't forget to... to to maintain your 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 touch, not sexual, but your touch. Uh, some couples they they start to actually don't even touch themselves. They don't kiss themselves, and that's that's bad. It doesn't have to be sexual, but uh, kiss every night, cuddle a little bit. Uh, you know, be be very romantic or gentle with your partner, uh, and that will help that that intimacy in sex stays alive. It's very important, even if you think it's not important. It's very very important. So just to sum this up, um, if you have this problem, it's normal. Everybody has it. Uh, there's solutions for that. As I said before, I've mentioned a few here. Um, just try to, to, to see how you can talk to your partner and, and, and solve the situation. Find ways, creative ways of solving the situation um, in terms of fantasies, in terms of, of, of talking about it. Uh, respect the other person if they are not in the mood at one point, if they're going through a bad time and support them. And again, uh, masturbation is a great help there. If, if you feel like you need more sex, okay, you can masturbate for, 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 for a few weeks, a bit more than normal because may, maybe your wife or your husband is not going through the best time. So, but it should not be a, a, a problem in terms of uh, if, if you're in a long-term relationship, if there's love, there's a way to solve it. If there's no love, it's more difficult. But when there's love, uh, things can actually be solved. So... Hope you like this video. Again, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I, I, I have uh, almost 25 people, 25,000 people that are following now. I want to get there. Um, don't forget to visit uh, this website here where you can learn more about sexuality and how to become a better lover and have better sexual relationships. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.